then comes the Cano model. Um, the Cano model is uh, takes care of. So we'll come back to this uh, uh, diagram, but let's look at what the Cano model uh, really looks at. It looks at customer satisfaction as a basis of prioritization. So what is customer satisfaction in this case? Is there is a feature that's not implemented, that's fully implemented. And there's also dissatisfied, and there is completely satisfied. Now, and there are four things, right? One is a delighter. One is the basic needs and uh, indifferent and all that. So let's look at what are these things out here. These are called customer preference categories. Delighters, high value to customer, uh, leads to high adoption, which means to say absolutely a delight. I mean, this feature is probably the best in this entire product and it's a completely delight. It leads to high adoption. Suddenly, by word of mouth or even being in tweeting and you know Instagram and a lot of other things if you look at it suddenly people start to realize hey I can do it much much this is a delight or even an iPhone for that matter some features like Siri and things like that delight us satisfiers are do more of these so which means to say there's quite a bit of the certain uh, you know app or you know the things where you can add more to the customers for which you will have more adoption and things like that but it may never come to the delighters side uh, dissatisfiers are not things that you shouldn't do. It's about if they if they are not present, you're going to be causing a lot of dissatisfaction. One of the examples could be um, a simple SMS app being missing in a Google Android phone. Right? Uh, to me, that's a dissatisfier. Uh, though you could say you now you Google you Google Hangouts and things like that. I would I've been a user who has a separate SMS. I don't want to mix it up with my mail. Uh, but now it is all mixed up with my Gmail ID and everything else. So just as an example, that it's an absolute must. It is a dissatisfaction, but the rest of the pieces of delighters and satisfiers have kept me not uh, really being uh, in a wary of the, the Android uh, Nexus and stuff like that. Indifferent is no impact. You either do it or not do it. I mean, it's, it's a, people don't really care, uh, uh, you know, a contact list or a, a lot of other things that you don't really want to bother about. One thing to note in this Cano model is very clear that uh, the, the, as you see the diagram, right? The delighters, at some period of time, they are they are delighters now. Uh, they will delight you now. They don't continue to stay as delighters forever. They will move to the satisfiers. They sometimes, if you take it away, they become a dissatisfier. So we need to understand that this is a moving uh, moving window, um, and the delighters can move into any of them, and new delighters will come up uh, as part of the Cano model. So as and when you're discussing something these things would be needing to put in place using the Cano model one of the best uh, models but not many people use it is what people say but then it's a very nice way to use it from a perspective of uh, you know this could this could be used in combination with moscow also to say hey this is a delight this should be must have